What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking about the new Fire Assassin. This comes piggybacking off of the 2.7 changes that they just gave us, which is one, next hit delay now is A, no longer global, and B, is per cast, and thus the Fire Trap Assassin, who Wake of Fire, for instance, could would have next hit delay stack across all of its things, so laying down five of those traps really wasn't that great now is shifted to where every single one of those traps has its own next hit delay. The damage is magnified. I mean, you're doing two to three the times the damage that you did before with this purely from that change. Um, additionally, there's also, of course, the change from 2.6, which meant you had the negative resistances of items apply. And now there's the plus elemental um, apply to traps as well. So something like Griffins, whereas it used to just be for the FCR and the plus skill, now the minus resistance applies for the traps and the plus lightning damage applies to traps. This of course also works for fire now, which means we have a facet, the minus five and the plus five will continue to work. So Trap Assassins just got pretty lit. There's a couple other characters that are also really cool, but Trap Assassins are just really solid. And I want to go ahead and show you a little bit of this Trap Assassin right here. This is just kind of an example character. Um, first off, doesn't really take a lot of skills. You just need to max Wake of Fire, Fire Blast, and Wake of Inferno, and you've hit it. So right there, it's already good. Of course, you can go and max Death Sentry afterwards for just getting that Corpse Explosion to help speed things up. Um, you can, I put points into Shadow Warrior, whatever. You can just put, you know, a point in Burst of Speed, a point into Mind Blast for help. Um, but pretty much, you know, don't need a lot there and nothing in Martial Arts Tree. So it's pretty low on the skills. You can always dump the rest into these Shadow Disciplines here. But for the most part, you just need the 60 and then maybe the 80, a little bit there, 90 skills or something like that. Um, 92, 3. Something you can definitely hit before you're 80. You'll, you'll be able to have this stuff pretty maxed. Uh, stats. I have enough strength and dexterity to use um, a phase blade and a monarch shield. Uh, so that's going to be the pieces where you might dump that. Otherwise, you're just going vitality. And then gear is going to be... Um, this is the most obvious one that I can think of for a weapon because, again, the minus 30 and plus 30 both are going to benefit this character. So this now becomes a huge, huge weapon um, in that you get massive fire skill damage and massive enemy fire resist. Um, I think this will be definitely a solid starting uh, weapon right here. Not like starting, but like the weapon to go after. Obviously, you could run something like Hodo and get plus three to skills. You could, you know, there's like a couple other things you can mess around with. But this is just going to be pretty much your, your best in slot. Uh, Flickering Flame, nice and easy, only cost Vex Pull. You get plus three to fire skills, minus 15 to enemy fire resist. And this also gives you the level five resist fire aura, which is really helpful because you're going to be running a fire sunder charm. And so that's going to kind of help negate that, right? Um, just having that piece. So really, really nice right there. And that'll bring your res up there. Just running Amara's. Obviously, you could run like a plus three traps or whatever here. You could do a 220 if you want to hit a certain FCR breakpoint. There's obviously like things you'll probably mess around with. Um, for getting to the next, you know, FCR breakpoint stuff with this. But for simple sake, we're just going to use this. Um, Phoenix over here is nice, but you'll actually get more damage out of just a four-faceted, four-open socket monarch. So honestly, that's a lot cheaper to just get like four fire facets, shove them in there, then you get plus 20, minus 20, and that'll be a little bit more. Um... Here, though, you do get the level 11 Redemption Aura, 50 to life, uh, and then, you know, just kind of 21 Fire Absorb. So you get some things that do help with the fire, but this is going to be more expensive than just four facets, and four facets will actually be cheaper, I believe. Um, so regardless, 
It's still nice though. This is, I, I like the redemption aura. Just gonna help you stay alive if you do want that. Enigma, obviously, for teleporting here. Um, and then obviously the plus two skills, fast run walk, all the strength, right? It, it just, I mean, Enigma is pretty obvious in this slot. If you want me to talk budget, I'll talk budget after this. Mage Fist, plus one fire skills, 20 FCR, enough said. Um, Raven Frost for cannot be frozen. You could also like, eh, you have nowhere to put a cham, so never mind. So you'll want Raven Frost. Um, Arachnid Mesh, plus one skills, 20 FCR. I have a BK ring. Again, if you wanted like something to get um, the next FCR breakpoint, you could swap it in here or up in here, figure it out. And then I'm just running some Trex right now, uh, just because Trex are, you know, they add strength and poison res and hit recovery. They're just nice boots. On this build, honestly, Natalia's is probably really solid because you're gonna want a little bit of more resistance. You can see I don't have resistances. So getting some, uh, you know, Nats boots and stuff would probably be really nice. Now, the reason I'm using a phase blade here and not using a crystal sword or dimensional blade is for the attack speed. So a crystal sword is actually a lot slower, whereas a phase blade is the fastest weapon, right? Um, so it's the minus 30, I believe, for a phase blade. So this is going to be the best option to upgrade for that. And then the other attack speed you're getting will come from your burst of speed. And so between that, you should have a pretty good trap laying speed. I haven't worked out the math on if you could, if you're near another breakpoint and whatever, maybe somebody will throw on a High Lords or something to get that next breakpoint. Cat's eye, whatever. But that's just the general idea. For skillers, you want my monster fire immunity. Obviously, just whatever trap assassin skillers you can get. If you can get some 45 lifers, cool. If you just get some little dex ones or plain ones, that also works. And then for the charms, I have lifers here. Honestly, you're probably better off putting resist charms down here. If you can get five all res, four all res charms, that's great. If you can get 11 fire, 11 cold, 11 light, whatever. If you can get combos of that. Um, because you probably will want some resistances again on this build. We're building a little bit away from resistances since our shield is not really helping in that capacity. Um, you know, we're kind of short res in some areas. So obviously if I'm min-maxing this build, this ring is probably FCR plus, you know, whatever res on it and strength and stuff to really help with that. I'm probably going Nats Boots. Um, probably doing the facets right there, and then I'm getting, you know, resistances on all of these to help bring our res up a lot. Now, I also haven't done any of the res quests with this character yet. Um, this character just is like a hacked up character. So, pretend all of these res are 0, 0, 0033 right now, and that'll give you a better idea of, um, what all it's going to be. So... Yeah, I mean, that gives you a pretty good sense there. A COA, two open socket with two times facets wouldn't be horrible, you know, either. I mean, that could also work. You can definitely mess around with things uh, on this character. Now, if you want to be more budget, there's definitely things you can just throw on for, you know, in place of Enigma. Um, you know, you can do something like using, uh, honestly, an Ormus. 15% Ormus, put a jewel in it, and now it's 20 and minus five. I mean, that wouldn't be horrible, right? You can just kind of screw around with all that stuff. Um, anything that, that, that'll that have plus to skills that you can put on, obviously, is also going to be solid. Spirit, just over here, right? You have your CTA and your uh, Spirit right there. So just, you could run Spirit and Hodo right here. Um... Flickering Flame's not that expensive, but even prior to that, Shaco works. Even prior to that, Lore, right? I mean, there's definitely a lot that you can still just do with all the plus two skills. Again, this damage is very nasty. So, I've, I've shown enough of the character. Um, let's go and, and show off the character a little bit. So this is just players one that we're just gonna be starting out on. And you can already see that on players one here, like, yeah, we're just starting in the cold plains. But you can already see this damage is is good, right? Like, 
that's that's cleaning up pretty well. Thanks, Mr. Llama. Thank you, Christian. So now we'll move over to. Oh, this is without my mercenary, by the way. So obviously you'll want infinity, you know, on your mercenary. So now we can go over to like River of Flame. And we can lay down some traps here. And again, I mean, it's killing pretty well. Let's go in the Chaos Sanctuary. And remember, Act 5 has really high fire resist, which is rough, you know? And obviously you have all the safety of all the stuff that you want. Sorry, Act 4, not 5. Oh, this is terrorized. I didn't even realize. So these, this is a level 96, so it's even a little bit stronger. And I mean, it just, it just kind of mows through it. I mean, just look at the speed of this. Now, this is players one. So you say, okay, Mr. Lema, that's all nice and dandy. I mean, it's still impressive because this build used to not be viable in any capacity and now it's murdering over there. But let's go ahead and go for players eight. Show me some players eight with this build. Let me see how it functions here. And you'll note, it still pretty much just melts everything super well. And then, of course, you can always toss in your uh, death sentries whenever you want to help out. But it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is pretty solid of a build. And again, this is coming from a build that was just not viable before. Let me swap my headset really fast so I can hear the game as well. And like, I'm gonna take you guys over to Players 8 Cows really fast. Let's just go get a leg. And just super, super, super simple. Without even fully optimized gear, it's nice and easy. And this is players eight cows, which is a good test of like DPS output. And I also have like a wand for lower resist. So I could always have this on my offhand, right? I could come here. Swap this over. And then whenever I want, I could just cast that down. And now... I mean, this stuff melts pretty fast. Now, the downside I would say for it... One, you know, uh, my res aren't amazing. But I, I can get my res up with just, you know, you just have to work a little bit with some charms, get Nats boots, whatever. You have such great survivability there, which is super fantastic. But the, the biggest downside I would say is the traps, there's only five of the traps. So a trap only casts five times, whereas a lightning trap casts ten times. You could use fade, but... First, the speed's just so nice. So you're going to be laying your traps down more often. But I mean, look look at this. Like I say, this is this is player's eight. Obviously, I'm just kind of diving in and whatever, but... And I can always have Fire Blast to, you know, throw as well and help out with the killing if I really wanted to, to min-max it all. Guys! I mean, this still isn't beating, like, martial arts assassin, but this is, 
Yeah, I mean, it's 13 mana cost for Wake of Fire. So it is cheaper. But you have to cast it more often. It, it's... It's not beating the, the new martial arts assassin, but this is now a fire trap assassin that can clear players eight and clear it at a decent speed. I mean, again, look at this character. This character just cleared players eight cows pretty fast. That's up there with like, that's gotta be in the top five, I would say, of, of cow clears. Javazon. Poison, Martial Arts Assassin, Poison Necro, Martial Arts Assassin. Uh, I mean, this? This might be number four, number five? It's wild. So, yeah. Assassins just got buffed even further. Trapsins are even better. Light Trapsin is even better. But Fire Assassin is now here and a thing and can do it. Insane. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe YouTube. Leave your comments down below what you think about this. Appreciate y'all. Peace.